All right, everybody. Well, are you looking for a new summer do, a new look? Maybe I am, although I think I'm limited in that department. When one local sal salon owner suggests you try a perm. She's given a modern update to the popular hairstyle of the 1980s. Amy Paffraff is here to tell us what's good. Hello there. <laughs> Hi, Melvin. Yes, this story I wish I could be for you, but for everybody else. <laughs> If the idea of getting a perm brings back memories of sulfur smells and tightly rolled curls, you're not alone. Salon owner, stylist, and curl cult creator Janine Jarman says all of that is so 80s. And she's on a mission to prove that perm is no longer a four-letter dirty word. With their tools and tricks, hairdressers are magicians. Stylist and salon owner Janine Jarman is a bit of an alchemist, coming up with a new solution for an outdated potion. It is no easy feat making perms cool again. The Huntington Beach native was blessed with natural curls and a knack for bringing in business, starting with doing prom updos in high school. Now, one head at a time, she's recruiting members to her curl cult, and she's using the sorcery of social media to do it. It stops people when they're scrolling, and they're like, wait, what? A before and after perm on not a grandma? A collab with Louis Levante caught the eye of tech entrepreneur Sam Ayers, who's wanted to change his stick straight texture for four years, but admits the word perm conjured up a very specific image. A lot of the times when like guys look for perms, we refer to like the Justin Timberlake ramen noodle photo, and that's like the opposite of what I want. Enter perm queen Janine. She does know what clients want, as in Levante's case, often before they do. Call it magic or hairdresser's intuition. But she's been listening to clients in her chair for 16 years. And in a post-pandemic world, what she's hearing them say they want is easy. For years, we've only given clients stuff that's harder, that's more maintenance, that takes more work, and it's time. Now she's reviving what American investors deemed a dead category. So seven years ago, she found a chemist in Italy who understood her vision of curls. To actually elevate the process, to eliminate the, half the steps, make it smell better, above all, make it feel better in the hair. 170 or so formulations later, she landed on this one that's now in 350 salons, including right here at Heroin in Hollywood. Ironically, it was the salon's pandemic closure that gave the mom of two time to focus on her permanent passion. It's time to reevaluate how we want to spend our time. And I think majority of people don't want to spend that time curling their hair. Maybe this cult will help us all loosen up a bit. Air drying for summer. Melvin, you know all about that. Got to love that. <laughs> yeah. More time to be outside in the beautiful Cali sunshine. If you want to join the Curl Cult, you can find a stylist in your area with a salon locator at curlcult.com, or you can schedule an appointment with Janine herself at Heroin Salon. Give her a call. It's on Coanga. I sure do sure know do. about, you know, air drying throughout the summer. Thank you very much, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, she she's wor was working on a male client in the story. So this is for everybody, right? Pretty much. Janine says it's a gentler formula than the original perm, so it's safe for clients and hairdressers doing the application and much more manipulatable and customizable. And since she launched the product during the pandemic, she had to turn to her family members as models. So in all of her training materials and on social media, you'll see her sisters and relatives with various hair types modeling the curls. Follow Curl Cult on Instagram for lots of befores and afters and to learn more. Amy Pafraff, we thank you so much. We love you. Wouldn't be a Tuesday morning without you, my friend. My pleasure. Good to see you, Melvin. You as well.